What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Cubcast, our now regularly running news series where we take a look at different stories going on around the world of international music. And I'm very excited to be back inside the building on this, a uh, very, very pleasant Sunday. Uh, we've got loads of stuff to dive into in today's discussion. We're going to be talking about one of the most prominent artists in the world of Afrobeats on a global scale, a very successful uh, artist in his own right and one of the most creative out there. But before we do jump into the general conversation, Content of what we're going to be uh, discussing today. Do make sure if you are new to the channel, you are hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. We are very much en route to hitting 37,000 subscribers over the next couple of days, and we can do that with your help. So big up each and every one of you. Now, today we are going to be discussing, as I said, one of my favorite artists currently wo working in and around Afrobeats music, one of the uh, more creative entities in and around this sound, um, in my honest opinion. That is, of course, CK. Um, he has had some fantastic news over the last couple of days. We have seen that Love Nguyen Titi has gone diamond and Emiliana has gone platinum. So this is really cool to see. Um, he posted up a, a Twitter picture. I think it was yesterday afternoon. I wasn't in yesterday, so I wasn't able to post about it until now. Um, but he posted basically saying thank you to my team. Love Nguyen Titi, diamond, Emiliana, platinum. Thank you, France. So there we go. Amazing things that we're seeing at the moment. Again, with this as a... Um, as a sound, as a single, as just a general kind of movement, what Love Nine TT's done on the global stage is absolutely incredible. Um, and it's so exciting to see where he is taking this as a journey. Um, he's currently at number four in the in the uh, US Afrobeats Billboard chart. Um, it's yet to leave the top four in the first 13 weeks of its activity. It has dropped out of the top two um, as of last week. However, uh, it's still going strong. It's still picking up a ton of streams. I want to kind of dive into the kind of stats and figures behind this tune because it is such a kind of legendary creation already. Over the last three years, we've turned, seen this turn into a genuine anthem representing this sound on an international level. So we are going to dive into a few stats on it. Obviously, it was originally uh, dropped on CK the First, his album back in 2019. Uh, the original upload on Spotify is now surpassing 500 million streams. Incredible stuff. Honestly, when I saw this as a, as a general number... Um, um, we did the uh, we did the show the other day, the High Rely show with IC Phoenix here on the channel. Um and I don't, I don't know if it was already at over the 500 million mark on Spotify, but that is a crazy achievement. To have any song ever hit 500 million plays on anything is absolutely incredible. So big up CK on that regard. Now, this is one of the first kind of big Afrobeats, modern releases at least, that hit a serious level of virality on TikTok. Uh, hundreds of people were using the audio for their videos, their dance routines, like their general day-to-day -day activities, and they were using the, the audio from Love Nguyen Titi. That was one of the big reasons it actually blew up in at the first place. And it seems to be a very common theme that we see now um, with this. Again, CK's uh, Spotify followers increased over 31 million. Um, and obviously following this, we saw a massive rise in uh, popularity of the song. And also it's been subject to five very exciting uh, remixes as well, which we'll discuss in a second. It's been nominated for a couple of awards over the years. Um, it was nominated in 2020 for the City People and Music Award um, for Best Collaboration of the Year. And 2022, we saw it nominated for the Best International Song at the Brit Awards. Again, uh, the list of uh, achievements and accolades this song has pulled in for both CK and Afrobeats as a global genre um, has been it's so, so exciting to watch. This has been a tune that has genuinely broken down a lot of barriers and not just the tune itself. Uh, also talking about the remixes, when we look at the stats on the remixes, um, the Joe Boy and Kwame Eugene remix is on 36 mil in, of, in, of its own right. We also see the acoustic version of the tune is on 13 mil. Do you know how crazy that is to have a tune that has an acoustic version of it released and it still hit 13 million Spotify streams? That's absolutely crazy, man. Um, we also see the El Grande Tote um, uh, remix on the North African edition of the remixes. It's on 111 mil, and the uh, French remix with uh, Franglish is on 17 million as well. This plays a big part in CK hitting um, that diamond level in um, France, which is absolutely crazy. Again, this guy is global now. Um, alongside this, obviously, Emiliana has also just gone platinum, which is a crazy thing to see. Um, and again, it's so exciting um, just seeing how far CK has come in a moderately short space of time. If we're talking three years, the global kind of, I don't even want to say domination, but the global uh, recognition he's now receiving is absolutely crazy. He's recently obviously released a uh, fantastic collaboration with uh, Davido, Focalistic, and Abidoza. Um, do check out our review for that one here on the channel. Again, that's a huge one. We're running it on The Breakfast Show regularly. Um, I'm using it in mixes all the time, and that is definitely one of the sounds of the summer, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but yeah, it's a great thing to see. Big up, obviously, CK each and every time uh, hitting that diamond level in France for Love 9 TT. I've actually got the stats here for 
um, all of the different places it's actually done um, incredible stats. Uh, we look at Australia, it's platinum with 70,000. Uh, Austria, it's platinum with 30,000. In Germany, um, it's already gold with 200,000 units. Uh, Italy, platinum with 70,000. Uh, New Zealand, platinum with 30,000. Portugal, it's platinum with 40,000 as well. Spain, it's gold uh, with 20,000. The UK has it at 600,000 uh, platinum, and the United States has it on over a million units sold for the platinum status. So it's absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, we're talking about the kind of achievement in France at the moment. Again, go and check out the picture on his Twitter feed. You get to see him holding up the awards, and you can see it just looks like a fantastic achievement. Um, and again, it's great. Now, I want to quickly discuss why this is so good. This sort of global, um, I don't want to say acceptance, but this global kind of new recognition for Afrobeats is such a good thing for the health of the overall sound. What we will end up seeing, I think, without a shadow of a doubt, is artists from uh, around the world actually kind of developing their own sort of style. And I think CK, being an artist that has always done that, he's always kind of done his own thing. He's never been super, super commercial in his approach. He's kind of created his own formula. Um, we hear that on a lot of his collaborations and actually on a lot of the tracks of CK the first you kind of hear that seriously creative side of Afrobeats music really really coming to light and it's something that I find so so exciting again when you look at the look at the uh, just general streams that everything is on it's absolutely outstanding. 36 mil on one remix, 13 mil on another. Again, 111, um, 17 mil on another as well. So we're talking around 170 million just on the remixes. And then, of course, the original has surpassed 500 million on its own, which is absolutely crazy. And again, it's great to see. Um, I think CK's moving around doing shows at the minute, which is obviously great to see as well. He is now definitely gaining that mass international kind of following, which is always great for an artist when they are kind of in that expansionary phase. Obviously, as I said, he's just dropped a brand new set and I've got a funny feeling we're going to see a big project from him dropping very, very soon. I think he's too kind of in the zone right now. We're seeing him pick up all these accolades and all of these like crazy uh, achievements. He needs to capitalize off this and really go, look, we're going to run uh, with this from here on in. But yeah, it's a great piece of news. Big up CK each and every time. Um, he is someone that has supported the channel in the past. He shared the videos that we've put out before. So big up him each and every time. It's always great to see that incredible um, level of support from um, these, these huge internationally acclaimed artists. And of course, you guys um, who are following the channel and getting involved in these videos so there we go guys if you have enjoyed this conversation do let me know um in the comment section down below again are you surprised that the tune has done this well when do you remember the first time you heard love nine tt let's hear your experiences of this tune i'm trying to get a real discussion going about this tune and whether it ranks in some of the best afro beats in, in regards to afro beat songs of all time in regards to its popularity does that level of popularity put it at the kind of pedestal is this the track that is genuinely breaking down the most doors is it essence is it the peru remix all three of these have been in rotation at the top obviously Thames currently sits at the top of the US Afrobeats billboard chart but these are all tunes that are breaking down at barriers and I want to know your thoughts on that whether it's a good thing whether it's a bad thing for the sound just let me know down below now guys if you have enjoyed this video as well please make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time enjoy the rest of your Sunday have a fantastic evening and peace but it's on in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked.